For all your NRG innovation product needs, make sure you check out driveenergy.com. That's D R I V E N R G dot com. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here on Horizon 4 in the snow season on, in our 22B. Today, we are going to go uh, do some of the seasonal races as I uh, go the wrong way on gearing. We're going to go do some of the seasonal racing here for the winter season. And I'm not sure what car I got to run. I totally forgot which car we're going to be running for the seasonal event. So, hopefully, uh, it's a car that we have and we yards. don't have to buy one or maybe Turn we can run the 22 B. that would be pretty sweet but we are just ripping over our way to start the championship slide this car a little bit so if you guys remember i was talking about this being one of my favorite winter cars uh the 22 b as well as my gtr so that's why we are in it today to hit trees Try and not hit trees is what the goal is. So we are gonna rip this if we can. If not, we're gonna be probably switching up cars based on the seasonal event. We got a little bit of a drive up there, so we're just gonna enjoy some snow driving in this all-wheel drive Subaru. Maybe you get sideways a little bit. Not that quick. Thought it could do better than that, but uh, I didn't do too good on that one. So I got a lot of cool things coming up this week. Some more live streams, probably some live streams on Horizon 4 as well as on Tour Trip. So definitely super excited to be doing some more live streams with you guys and uh, definitely going to want to be doing some on Horizon 4 or Motorsport 7 right now to get, you know, on the wheel more. So we are here at our event and we're going to uh, start the event and uh, have arrived at your see destination. what cars oh back in the 90s 90s collections all right so we are going to be probably running them on at least highly skilled so even though it's freezing out there we've still got loads of people braving the weather to watch this seasonal i don't suppose that has anything to do with you does it i mean maybe oh it looks like we can run our 22b it is a 90s or we could run the gymkhana ford Escort. I feel like uh, I feel like I want to run the Escort, but that's a really high race class. That's gonna make the racing pretty insane. But why not? We'll give it a shot. We are gonna go against highly skilled. I don't need the alien uh, morph suit, but I want at least that car. So uh, I'm not sure what tires we're gonna be on. It looks like we're on some uh, slick tires. So. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to change that real quick before we race, otherwise we're pretty much going to be screwed. So this will be very interesting for sure if we're on normal, like, street tires or Gymkhana tires because, uh, it's going to make this super slippery. But it looks like there's, a uh, um, oh, some real tried drift cars here too. So let's see if we can actually do this. Can we tune it? We can't change tires though. Darn it. So, well, that's unfortunate. So we are gonna go on, just not come down to highly skilled, because I'm not sure what uh, what my tires are gonna hold for us. Yep, uh, we're gonna be sliding everywhere. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a little bit insane. There's a lot of, there's like rear wheel drive vipers and FD cars and stuff in here. And it uh, looks like Hertz over there. It is RX-7. Oh, this is going to be interesting because I'm already feeling like I'm sliding everywhere. Ooh, trying to not lose control of this car. on because I believe we're on street tires, as you can see. This car is getting uh, very squirrely. Probably should have raced the Subaru because I know that's on winter tires. But you know what? I'm going to bear it for this race. Might switch it up for the next one. A little uh, 
snow racing on street tires in a Gymkhana car. Definitely uh, not my uh, choice of compound. But we will try and uh, bear through it and at least finish this first event. Ooh. I can just feel it starting to skate. Kind of holding on to it a little bit. Oh boy. Except for right there. Lost that a little bit. I totally was not ready for that turn. This car probably would be amazing if it was on the right tires. Ooh. At least it's all wheel drive because if this was rear wheel drive, this wouldn't be happening right now. And I feel like these drive guitars in these drift cars and these rear wheel drive like E30s and stuff uh, should not be running as well lines as they are. But, uh, you know, they're drive guitars. So it's definitely, it's definitely a handful right now. And we're managing to keep our wits about us in this first race. I probably broke a little bit more than I had to there, but I'm just trying to keep the car from actually losing complete control on me here. Oh, this is gonna get sketchy. Head speeds. I am trying to be smooth. It's starting to drift and slide. It does not have enough front tire grip to like grip itself back. I feel like I have a little wobble in my wheel. So we're gonna finish third. Um, I feel like we need to uh, tighten our wheel up a little bit. Tighten my clamp. There we go. And uh, we are probably gonna switch to 22p for the next race but uh we did take third so that's good nice r33 and a viper and uh well go to the next race fast travel there start the next race up and uh see what happens hey andrew you've just earned your gold wristband really? this puts you among the best of the best the biggest names of the festival the legends of horizon the legends. So please try not to lose it. The legends of horizons. All right. So maybe we will just switch the tires real quick on this car, and then we will uh, head to the next event. So I'm gonna do that real quick and go to the next event, which is actually right above it. So uh, see you guys when we grid up. Hopefully we put some snow tires on this car, and uh, we'll be good to go. So unfortunately, apparently we cannot put snow tires on this car. It does not let us, so we are probably going to race the 22B in the next event, just because uh, it does have snow tires mounted. So, kind of disappointed that we can't put snows on this uh, Chicana car, but I think it's probably because of uh, the fact of what car it is. Because I believe this definitely does not have snow tires on it. So we're going to go into the next event. And we're going to probably bring out the 22B just because uh, it is my go-to winter car right there. 22B, A-class car. And we're going to race this race with the 22B. And uh, see if we can't take our first place. Keep calm and clutch kick shirt going on there in the winter. You know, rocking that, uh, that muscle shirt in the winter. I don't know why, but we are. So, are you guys having fun in this winter season? Are you guys excited for the expansion pack that's coming out in December? I know uh, a lot of people are posting about it. Um, I'm kind of actually super excited for it. Um, and uh, I can't wait to see what it fully has for us in store once it comes out. So, I know I will be uh, on that as soon as I can. It's a little nighttime in the 22B. Uh, you gotta be cold, dude, in that convertible. So the car class changed a lot since I went down to an A class instead of an S class. Personally, I do like running like A class cars rather than S class race cars. 
kind of more of a realistic race, I guess. Because you don't, you wouldn't see, you know, all these supercars driving through the snow, you know, a full board blown out race. You'd see more mildly tuned cars. I don't know why I tried shifting there. Get a little squirrely, but this car has enough to handle it. Ow. Sorry, dude. Oh, that was, that was very, uh, very online-esque pass, if I do say so myself. I totally missed my breaking zone on that turn. I think it's the uh, night times messing with me right now. <laughs> Haven't done a lot of su super night races, especially not in the snow. I was only in snow season for a little bit last time we had it. Didn't do too much in the snow season. I believe I was busy. So this is kind of my first full snow season. But it kind of made, how is this still water? Shouldn't this be frozen? Why is the, the lake not frozen? Somebody let me know why that lake is not frozen. But uh, it's still rushing water. We gotta catch up to uh, it's like Jimmo21 and uh, Driftboss591. Their drive guitars up here. We're gonna get, I don't know why I keep trying to shift on a six. Oh, excuse me, coming through. We'll quickly take that, and now we just gotta. Why is there water splashes? It's so crazy. I thought those would be ice covered. Now we're just gonna try and be smooth. Not miss that checkpoint. Eh, that's not good. That's definitely not good. We're at 78%. I'm gonna have to catch him. I'm gonna have to do some quick, uh. Some quick stuff through here and miss checkpoints. <clears throat> what? Nobody saw that, right? Nobody saw me miss that checkpoint. Ouch. Probably should have broke for that. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch it before the end. I had this race in the bag and then I threw it away. Oh, jeez. That hurts. Snow racing. I guess this is uh, a lot more difficult. We'll take second on that one. Maybe we can take first and the last one. Because we need to finish at least first once. In order to uh, unlock that skill. He whip and nay nay. Alright. He's uh, whipping and nay naying up there. It's in boss. Driving hard taking that win. We're going to go to the final race of this winter season. Hopefully we can come out with a win. I don't know if I'm going to win the championship completely, but uh, as long as we can win one race, we will unlock that car, which is the purpose of today is to try to get that car. So our final event is up here, and we are going to just fast travel to it for sake of time. And uh, we will uh, see... How this race goes, hopefully we can uh, not make that big mistake like we did in the last one. So we are going to continue the event in our 22B. And hopefully we can come out with a win. So if you guys are still enjoying these for more videos, which I know you are because you guys are coming back and watching them. Um, we'll be doing, like I said, live um, Horizon 4 stuff here this week. Um, haven't decided where we're going to go, if we're going to do some racing or just drifting or just hang out or cruise because it is winter so it kind of makes it a little bit of a damper for drifting um but we could probably go into the train yard under the under train yard area or run that upper man line section that we were running and do some slides so we're gonna see if we can't come out with a win here in this last event before we end this episode off you guys know follow me on facebook twitch twitter and instagram all of which are found in the description box below and uh we're gonna try and take an early lead on this and uh, not look back. That is the goal. The goal is to take an early lead and not look back. I think I broke too soon for that, but I'm going to cut the inside of this uh, BMW there and try and get an early lead. Hard break. I was gonna pull the e-brake there, but 
figured it would be better just to uh, take the turn smoothly. I've noticed sometimes it's a lot faster if you just take the turn smoothly. So, once we take this lead, we're just going to have to make sure we don't make the mistake. Cause yourself to lose it. I almost lost it there. Got that turn. There we go. So, do you guys love racing in the snow? Do you hate it? When it comes to the winter season, do you guys decide to just uh, not play the game? Because I know some people don't even decide to play the game when the winter season comes because they don't like it. Um, I personally do like the winter season and all the seasons. Um, I can tell a lot of people on wheels don't like winter because they have a problem controlling the car. But I honestly have not had uh, many problems driving these uh, lower powered like A-class cars. They seem to handle very well on a wheel so that's why I like them. Oh there we go. That was almost bad but we got it. Trying to keep them behind us. As long as we finish first in this race we'll get that car that we are trying to get for this seasonal event. I don't think we'll win the championship, but we may finish second, which is okay with me as long as we get the car. I don't need the alien morph suit, so didn't need to have them on expert, but you know what? They're pretty tough in the snow on this anyways. could imagine I'm being on a higher level and just pretty much losing because I think the Drivatars are a lot more difficult to race in the snow. I don't know why I downshifted. Over revving this 22B, I'm gonna need a new motor after this race. I feel like when it comes to winter driving or mud driving, the Drivatars are even more difficult, or it's just because I'm not as quick on the snow and the dirt as I am on pavement. Because um, I usually don't have a problem beating them on, you know, expert and stuff like that when, uh, on pavement races. Dry pavement anyways. But when it comes to dirt and snow, I feel like uh, my speeds are a little off, so they're uh, a lot harder to beat. But we will take that win. Thank gosh. We'll be able to complete that seasonal event, probably get our car. And, uh, oh, we may be able to take first in the... We did. We just barely took the championship. We took the W on the last race and we're able to complete our second one. Don't need the morph suit, like I said, so I'll take the thousand or five thousand and then I will take the Vox Carlton. Looks like a fun car to do. We're going to probably drive that around and uh, see what we can do with it. So that's going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Horizon 4. If you guys like this and want to see more racing in the snow, let me know down in the comment section down below. Look forward to some live streams this week with you guys. Happy Monday, if there's anything happy about it. So until next time, I'd like to thank you guys for coming back and watching. We're going to see what we get on this wheel spin. Um, I'm not very, you know, feeling well. Oh, we got a little Miata. <laughs> I was like, I'm not feeling very uh, happy about that wheel spin. So until next time, I'd like to thank you guys for coming back and watching. As always, I appreciate all the support from you guys and all the comments, especially with now Torque Drift with my me being in torque trip it's a big thing so as always like thank you guys for watching i'm evil rabbit that was some uh, interesting cyclones and i'm out